Welcome home, horror fans. My name's Adam. And I'm Zoe. And uh, Josh Stolberg, one of the writers of Saw X, has tweeted out something very interesting. Yeah, he has. He's uh, shown us a little bit of a snippet of a cut scene from Saw 10. Yeah, it's pretty cool. It's actually revealed a deleted scene from the script of Saw 10 in which it revealed a scene that John is fantasizing about putting uh, somebody into a giant trap with piranhas, a big water tank with piranhas. And this is revealed to be an insurance salesperson that is working for old William Easton from Saw 6. Piranha. Someone really liked that piranha line in Saw yes. 6, didn't they? Well, Took that's that the a little bit too literally. <laughs> that's right. Well, it turns out that's the thing. Josh Stolberg, who is one of the writers, one of the two writers on the film, actually admitted to being a giant piranha fan specifically. Okay. So he's got a thing about piranhas that he actually wrote for the movie. I think it was Piranha 3 Well, that does D. make sense. Yes, it all lines up. Turns yeah. out he's just a giant piranha fan. Nice. And that's why we have this very odd scene of John looking at piranhas in Saw 6 and saying... Piranha. <laughs> yes. It's all. It's a very confusing scene, but um, yeah, he's got a thing about piranhas and they originally wanted to actually have a scene which melds nicely with Saw 6. And I thought this would have been a really nice connecting scene to go back and... I think tying it together with Saw 6 officially is an interesting... Like, is, is a cool way of doing things. Yeah. I think that most of us already know that it ties into Saw 6 anyway, as John does mention a miracle treatment in oh, Saw yeah. 6 being something that he'd like to pursue with William Easton. And if you go outside the system and seek out this treatment, which has been deemed ineffective... You will be in breach of policy and you will be dropped from coverage completely. I'm sorry. Um, but the actual scene itself I'm unsure about. I think that it it's a bit out of character for Saw. I think yep. it's for a franchise that is known for doing absolutely insane out there, never seen before <laughs> traps. <laughs> piranhas and someone being attacked by piranhas or forced into a trap with piranhas just seems really crazy. <laughs> really uh, out there. Very up there and in maybe a little bit more intense than the lawnmower trap in Saw 3D when they're hanging from that. Yeah, okay. yeah. <laughs> I don't know. Yeah. It just seems uh, like Saw is like here and that is like all the way up here. <laughs> we have a bona fide piranha hater right here on our hands. I just think Josh Stolberg would not be happy. It's, yeah, no, he, he would <laughs> not like me. Um, I just think that it's a bit much. Yeah, well, on that note, we do have the snippet that he shared. And I'm going to read you now the actual part of the script which was cut out and that he posted. Oh, interesting. Go uh, ahead. So, cutting away from the scene of the trap with the piranhas, we have, uh, as he desperately tries to scratch for air against the metal tank, he screams underwater and we match the cut to another tank of water. This one containing piranha. <laughs> inside the insurance office, we're inside the fish tank itself, filled with piranha and the camera itself peers inside. It's John Kramer, this time on the other side of the glass. And more than 10 years ago, the camera pushes through the glass to hear John say, Piranha. Piranha. The See insurance goon approaches behind him and says, John, please, if you do this, you'll be on your own, and the subsequent cost to you will be staggering. John replies, don't talk to me about money. I have money. This is about principle. And we realize that we've been dropped into a scene from Saw 6. John wants to do an experimental treatment in Norway. This is very interesting. Mm. And there's a lot to talk about in this scene. Yeah. Because that doesn't necessarily say that the person we're seeing gasping for air is being attacked by piranhas. It just says that this person is underwater. So they could have done a number of things. They, they could have linked it back to Strom being in that box. But also, it when it says that the uh, the camera pans to another tank of water, and we're obviously in the tank of piranhas. Yep. The seeing John and hearing him say piranha, and the things that are said in terms of "don't do this," like um, "you won't be covered," and all that yeah, sort yeah, of yeah. things. Those lines are the exact lines that him and William Easton speak to each other in Saw Six. John, please. If you do this, you'll be on your own, and the subsequent cost to you will be staggering. Don't talk to me about money. I have money. This is about principle. Yes. So it really does sound like they were trying to put us in that scene again. Yeah, absolutely. Um, and I love the idea of it. I, think I that love it. That yeah. is awesome. Yeah. I 
like I said before that we when we started talking about this, I don't like the idea of someone being attacked by piranhas. But it doesn't sound like someone's being attacked by piranhas. It just sounds like we're in the tank with piranhas. There seems to be a comment that the trap involved piranhas, but it doesn't go into heaps of detail. Mm-hmm. Uh, I think that Josh just really wanted to have piranhas somewhere, but I don't yeah. know if they were a major part of it. I certainly love the idea that they've taken us back to Saw mm-hmm. 6. And I think that Saw X obviously, you know, does tie into other movies in, in certain ways. But I would have loved to have seen them recreate certain scenes from the timeline mm-hmm. and take us back to those moments and really draw from the other films well, and just visit that them. that specific scene, filming that scene would not have been hard for them to do. I like, all so. they have to do is put the, the camera in the tank with the piranhas, which I'm pretty sure is, is already done in Saw 6 in some way or form. Yeah, I don't think it would have been hard to They recreate. would have just literally inserted that straight after the initial trap that they speak about being in. So, I interesting. I am I wonder if we will get that deleted scene when the, the DVD does come out. But well, I don't think it was ever filmed. This is part of the script that they uh, redrafted and they changed up the story a lot since the original draft. Um, I think that the film could have certainly recreated many scenes over the years. And obviously, I think what they did with Sorex is they kind of wanted to make its own standalone mm-hmm. and not tie too much in. I think, again, that's part of like you know trying to be for a new audience and all that sort of stuff. Um, because otherwise, if this was more for the fans, we would have got more of this stuff. We would have got more of touching on classic Saw moments. Yeah. And who doesn't love the piranha moment from John Kramer? Piranha. Yeah, well, it's, you know? it's spoken about as one of like the great memes of Saw, right? Yeah, if they had actually shown this in the film, it would have got a huge laugh from us. Oh, yeah, Just from everyone. Yeah. Everyone knows it that It would have scene. been one of our favourite yeah. scenes. And it makes sense, obviously. It ties so heavily into this film. The fact that he is doing an experimental treatment, that's what the story was kind of about in Saw 6, that he was denied the insurance. Mm-hmm. Uh, and obviously the quip about money is not an issue because... John has this, does seem to be pretty well off. Mm-hmm. Um, it all just ties in so well with Saw X and connecting us to Saw 6. Uh, I love the idea. I really love yeah, it. Yeah, you know? absolutely. Um, I would have loved to see, like I said, more of this type of thing. Just mm-hmm. And it's fine that he looks different. You know? He looks older, obviously, and stuff. But have them we go back and recreate. That. It, I think that uh, John looking older in Saw 10 really works. He just I looks better. He looks great. Yeah, he looks better for the character. Yeah, yeah absolutely. Is. It just works. It feels more real. Mm-hmm. He looks better than ever in terms of John Kramer as a character and, yep. and being at the end of his rope and lots of I stuff. I completely agree. I love it so much. And I would have loved to recreate the, the backwards cap scene as well. That would have been amazing. It feel, you know what it honestly does like sort of feel like? You know how they're like completely off topic, but you know how they're doing this uh, Mean Girls reunion where they're oh bringing them all back? This sort of feels like a sort of saw <laughs> reunion. Even though it's a prequel, it's like John, Amanda, Hoffman, all back, all aged, but yeah. still kicking ass like they were back in their heyday. Yeah. Uh, love it. And that's the thing too. Like, you know, give me a movie. Like, yes, Sorex was pretty good with fan service and trying to appease both audience, new and old, but just give me a Saw, just pure fan service movie, which is all for the old fans. Everyone it wants just, it. It just shows me all of the old characters back. It harkens yep. back to all the different movies. It ties everything together. And I think that's the only issue that some people had with Sorex is it didn't answer a lot of the franchise's questions. Yeah. It didn't bring a lot more answers to the table of, of the, the greater universe. It was all kind of more new stuff. And I definitely can understand that. Yeah. Because seeing it the first time, I felt the same way. And yeah. all I can say for people that do feel that way is just see it again. And I'm sure that your uh, uh, mindset on the film will be uh, a lot better. Yeah, well, that's it. Take away those expectations and not needing those things. The film is great. We're not yep. going to complain about it at all. And by the sounds of things, the script had a lot more in store for us that's than what right. we actually saw. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but hopefully there were some scenes that were filmed that we, we didn't get to see in the overall cut of the film. Oh, yeah. I'm um, quite excited to see what the I'm very excited. And I will be snatching up that collector's edition as soon as it's available to purchase. Yeah, it'll sit nicely alongside your collector's edition with the bear trap you already have. Absolutely. It's I have to <laughs> shove it in there somewhere <laughs> awesome well that is an amazing one we will keep our eyes on any more saw news obviously saw 10 has released and it's uh it's a big deal for us still to this day we're still talking Absolutely. about it we haven't moved on just yet um if there's anything that comes up we will keep you informed guys otherwise we will see you in the next one see you next time guys